Hey guys, I'm bringing you a book haul today. This is going to be for September and August because I don't think I did a book haul in August. And I have a lot more books than I thought because I go to a lot of thrift stores and charity shops and secondhand stores and the books are like a dollar. So I just end up with a lot more books than I think I will. So let's just get started. First of all, I have the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Katie from Effusions of Wit read it recently and she said it was really good and I didn't realize but it's in like letter format and I love that in books so I'm really looking forward to reading this. Next I have Major Pettigrew's Last Stand. I got this at Goodwill for about a dollar and it just sounded really charming. I think the Goodreads reviews said that it was just a really charming sweet read and sometimes that's what I'm in the mood for. So I'm looking forward to that as well. This is a book I actually did order online and it's The Weight of Glory by C.S. Lewis. This is a book of sermons and essays and other writings and um, speeches that C.S. Lewis gave mostly during World War II time and after I believe and I have read this and it was really really excellent. I cannot get enough of C.S. Lewis. Next I have a book I got at Half Price Books for about two or three dollars. This is Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger and I have Catcher in the Rye and I've read it and I'm really interested in short stories lately. I haven't been reading a lot but I really want to so I've heard that this is a really good book of short stories and I'm looking forward to reading it. They're quite short so hopefully I will be able to pick this up whenever I want a really quick story. The next book I have is something I've talked about I should probably do a dedicated review of this, but this is Domestic Violets by Matthew Norman, and I read this book this summer on my Kindle, and I just had to have a physical copy because you know the books that you really love, you just want to look at them all the time, and I love this cover. I just, I just love it. So I'm super happy that I found this for I think five or six dollars at Half Price Books, and yeah, it's just a story about this man who has a job that he hates, his family is sort of dysfunctional and he's got a lot of problems and for some reason I just really connected with this book and it's really funny and it's just a really really good read so I'll probably do a review of this eventually because I love it so much but definitely check it out and it's worth your time. The next book is something I was really excited to have. Um, Rainbow Rowell tweeted that she had some signed copies of Eleanor and Park in Target stores so obviously I did what any Rainbow Rowell fan would do and I drove as fast as possible to my nearest Target store and I got the very last signed copy of Eleanor and Park and I'll show you it is signed so I didn't own this before I love this book just really really pleased to have this on my shelf the next two books I got just the other day and the first is The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman I'm not entirely sure what this book is about. I think it has something to do with a lighthouse, and I know that it's historical fiction, but yeah, I think it's just had really good buzz on Goodreads, and I was really happy to find this for like a dollar, so that's fun. The next book is A Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers, and I have read one of Francine Rivers' books. She wrote a book called Redeeming Love, and I really, really enjoyed it. This is a hefty one, and I believe it is historical fiction. Something about Rome? I mean, duh, there's, like, the Colosseum. But I have several friends who have been recommending this to me. Apparently it's just, like, really, really good historical narrative and I think that I would enjoy that sometime. The last book I have is something I just got the other day and it's called The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. This book is about the Vietnam War I believe. That's all I know about it. It has also got super good ratings on Goodreads so I guess you can kind of tell how I find my books to read and buy. It's basically based on Goodreads because Goodreads seldom lets me down. I think it's considered by some to be one of those modern classic books and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to some time getting into that because I like war stories. Fun fact. Yeah, that's going to be my haul. And tell me, please, if you've read any of these because most of them I haven't read. And I'd love to know which ones are worth reading. I guess that's going to be it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.